Hey, what is going on guys? Alex here, and today we are doing a Minecraft tutorial. Um, today will be a tutorial on how to do a sale. Uh, a sale. I have a little bit of a... Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god. A little bit of a lisp. <laughs> and, um, so I thought I'd just do a tutorial today on how to make a sale for your ship. Um, this type of sale is a very organic style, so if you are a kind of person who's like, um... Like, kind of, you know, not that good at organics, then this may not be very easy for you, but I will try as hard as I can to, um, make it as easy as I can for you. And this is not a tutorial, like, a block for block tutorial. This is mainly just, um, you know, pick, if you are building something, like a ship, or you can't get the sails down, this is mainly, like, techniques I use, and, um, how I go about making myself. So as you can see, I have a couple down from the last progress video or canon video I made like two weeks ago, which is ridiculous. Um, I have not much progress. Um, I've got some color, new colors to the ship. Um, this is hardened clay, and it looks way different in the conquest texture pack than it does in the default. But in the default, it looks like a uh, reddish color, and um, I've decided to make my ship a French ship. So yeah. But, um, apart from that, let's get started with the tutorial. So, for me, my spars are, um, three each one, and I have them tilted so that the wind in this direction, which way am I facing right now, west, so that it would be a northwesterly blow. I take screenshots, like, so it'd be a northwesterly blow. That's how I have my, um, my, get, uh, my spars laid out so it doesn't matter but um this is how i approach it i i've seen some people do four across like that and i've seen some ships with nearly two across and so yeah but anyways so to start off doing a sail like i have them i would do this go right under the um each three block of the spars and just put your wool down there and except for that last little uh, three blocks of spar, leave that be because that is room to make it look more rounded. So now you're going to want to do uh, your basic shape of, or outline of the, um, of the sail. So I like to start going down one, two, uh, one, two, three, maybe like that there. One, two, three. And how much room do I have here? Uh, I have a lot of room. Um. So, one, two, three, four, five. And this, you, what you want to do is you want to put, like, for me, I, I, I want to put the focus point at kind of like the lower part of the sail. Like, the wind is blowing at strongest at the lowest, or at the lower part of the sail. Because, um, that's realistic. Because you wouldn't, usually at least, the wind wouldn't blow up here. Or it would, but all the focus would be down lower so you want to try to get your center as low like more stuff up here less below it if that makes sense probably won't but um so just like this maybe and this may be a bit too long actually um maybe go up one by by one here and let's just go in and I think we can stop right there. That's about right. So that's a side. That's only one side. And it does kind of look strange. I think. Um. Hmm. I, I, I feel like there should be more roundness to it. I don't know. Uh, what could I do to fix that? Could I do something like that again? No, that'll just look too redundant. Um, hmm, whatever, it's fine. Let's just see how it looks, uh, whatever. So now you're going to want to mirror that on the other side. So let's see how I did this. Um, I think I went like that now. And then down by three. Over, and then I, I, I don't know if it was six or seven, I went down. Two, three, four, five, six. I think it was six. And then down three from here. 
cost two. And I think actually I could just do that. That'll probably make it feel less exaggerated. So now you have kind of your outline sides view. So now for since it's my spars are pointing the way they are, if your spars were say pointing where over here would have that um you know, it would be facing the opposite direction. So instead of this way, they'd be facing that way, if that makes sense. Depends on which side um I this little part goes on. It's more of a curve, whereas on the part that is blowing, it's kind of flat. So, what I would do here is I would go one, two, I do this on every single one of each sail so far. And then over here, I feel, why is this, why is this one lower? What did I do? That's five, and this is six. I'll keep, I'll, I'll actually edit this side to make it six. Uh, um, there we go. So that means we'll have to lower all this. <sighs> so go like that and get rid of it. All right. So um, and then over here you can give a very quickly exaggerated or very very fastly, I guess, if you will. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Um, right here is going to be three. All right. So right here I've encountered a problem. Um, maybe we go one more, two. Alright, and then just edit that. Uh, not particularly what I would wa have wanted. If we can do that. Yeah, that works. Alright, so you want to try to make a flatter edge come in with a curved edge. If that makes sense. Probably doesn't. Anyways, so... After you have completed that, you do you start to kind of see how it's going to look. So, um, from here, you're going to want to do your vertical lines. Now, what I do here, um, I usually put one there, and then... Alright, so, since I wanted to put more focus on how low the uh, wind was blowing, what you want to actually do is you can go two diagonal from here, that would that kind of makes the feeling of like a slope or whatever. So now you just want to kind of want to kind of go down nice and easy, and then even mix it up. That's always good. All right, so three, and my focus point actually starts, or my center actually starts to start right here. So you with the sails, it doesn't always have to be the exact match of the size. As I said, it is a very, uh, it is a very organic structure. So, you know, you can do as you will. Um, this may be a bit too... Alright, sorry about that. So, this may be a bit too uh, low here. See, the, the problem, you can't make it too much lower. See, I have a problem here, though. This, this is bad. Um, what am I gonna do? This is too lower. Okay. Um. So I have. I. I, I all right. Three. All right. That works. <clears throat> that works. So, you have kind of the focus point or the bottom. Go away. Go away. So you have kind of the focus point at the bottom. Um, so yeah, so now you're going to want to do, I do every two. Uh, you can do whatever you would like, but I, you usually want to work from the top because it's kind of like the X, kind of like the, um, the X of the situation. Like the, um, kind of the top depends, or the bottom depends on the top. So let's just bring this down. Salt. Crap. Um, how do I do this? Alright, let's put that. What if I... Oops, on the same block. Sometimes it works, actually. If it does work for, um... Like, like, the two vertical lines, if they work together, 
if like you you can use the same um technique you used for one for the other see now uh, this feels a little bit too low like you don't want to put too much I feel like one block higher would be satisfactory but I don't think that's possible nope. yeah so so that would be leave enough room what did I do over there can't really tell what did I do over there well, I guess it was that low whatever all right Whatever, I'll just have to go with it. See how it turns out in the end. It's really easy to make judgments on how something's gonna look. See, but now right here, it is not what I have been doing. This is not gonna work right here, because as you can see, this one, um, it's stationary with that one. But this one came out one, as well as down here, the layout came out one. But in this case, I'm gonna end up doing it this here. Uh oh, I don't know what's happening. Um. Whatever. So, and then this one up here didn't, or it did, but that one down there didn't. So it's gonna be one off. So it's gonna be like you're gonna have to make up a different design. That's why it doesn't always work, and it's very easy to get frustrated when doing it. So yeah. So I'm gonna actually mix it up, or probably even. All right. So. What I'm going to do now here is I'm going to actually bring all of it up by one and then have this. Yeah, that works. So basically it's the same thing except that's brought up by one and that's three, whatever. So now we're going to continue it on over here. Like I said, guys, this is not a block by block tutorial. You will not probably find good results if you decide to go block by block because, um, Sales, they widely vary. Like, it highly depends on, you know, like I said earlier, the length of your spars, your, um, the way your spars are facing. And it's, it's a very complicated thing. It's a very, it's used mainly. It, you gotta be good at organics. Now, I'm not really good at organics. Like, when you think of organics in Minecraft, you think of, um, like, you know, big old statues and stuff once again this is not going to work down here because this goes back by two like it goes two back and this only goes back by one so I'm going to have to come up with a new design so let's start from the top on every one I'm, I usually you see, like you'll see similarities for every one like like two diagonal there it's just there's small dif there's small differences differings uh, within each of them, and I think actually this one is gonna end up not lining up. I don't know. Wait. Yep, yeah, it will. Maybe. Uh. Yeah, that'll work. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be um like as perfect as you know most people want it. So now you're done with your vertical lines. Uh, this is it might be actually. What the hell? I'm not even touching my keyboard and it's moving. This might actually be a longer tutorial because sales do take a long time and um they do take a while to get right and I'd rather get them right than um fluff up. So now what I like to do is this is the randomization part of it. Um Ooh, this is a bit weird. This goes back by two. Hm. Haven't encountered that yet. Guess we'll start from over here and work our way that way. Now here I like to use a different color of um of wool just because if I do end up like let's say th this was the first sale I made I was really proud of that and this was the second sale I made and I was kind of eh about it like it just didn't feel as good as the first one and that's completely fine so, most of the time uh you'll end up with a favorite but whatever so um see now well, you always want to make sure you do. Is this stone? No, it's like oh, stained clay. I don't want that. <laughs> In the conquest texture pack, it looks like stone. Stoned. So what you always want to do is see. Th this is the randomization part of it. You don't want to go up to here, because as you can see, it leaves a gap right here, and that's you can't work with that. So you want to actually go right here. Now, even though that doesn't touch that or that. It still has to work, just due to the, um, 
it wouldn't work any other way. So you gotta take things like that into account. God, this is a weird sale. It's gonna end up being like very different, very different. All right, so now, um, what actually I'm going to do? I'm just gonna match it up with the left, with the left uh thingy, and um, I'll actually do this. What the hell? Okay. And then bring this up by three. Bring this up by two. And from here on out, I think I'm just gonna follow the guidelines. Uh oh, that looks weird. But, anyways, so this is what you're gonna end up having this shit looking thing, whatever. So now you're gonna continue what I just did. These two line up perfectly just because, um, um, actually, they don't line up perfectly. Most of them lines up, most of it lines up perfectly. But you always wanna put in small randomizations just to give it that feel of, um, that differentiating feel. Alright, so let's just continue this on. And like I said, it doesn't always have to end up like. Diagonal, diagonal, cannot end up like two down, diagonal, whatever. So, um, now you're still having this weird, stupid looking, you know, various arrays of color in your sail. So, now you're going to continue doing this. You actually do something like that there. Now, on this side. Alright. And bring it up. And continue going across. So, by the way, guys, I have not been uploading lately. Uh, as you can see, after... Whoa. The fuck? Wait, what the hell? I have encountered a problem. So, now, you will encounter problems like this along the way. And you can simply just do that. Because, like I said, the focal point is down here. Right about here. So, is a slant up here, like a horizontal slant, it can be fine just due to the focus of the wind down there. Alright, so back to what I was saying, I have not been uploading lately, as you probably have realized or noticed. And this is because, um, can I do this? No, because it leaves a gap there. Christ. Um, this is because I have... <laughs> pretty funny. I lost my total beaches that I'm recording with now and they've been going all weekend. I had no idea <laughs> where they were. And then um I look I, I was packing up to go to my mom's sh I was packing up to go to my mom's house and I look up and they're on top of this little shelf on my desk. So I was like I was going to record this tutorial earlier this weekend, but now I'm doing it on a school night and it's all stupid. Uh, yeah, so, I had, I had school off today, because for, uh, Columbus Day, it's hilarious. <clears throat> I actually don't really think that Columbus Day is so, I don't know, celebratory? I don't know. I mean, how do you celebrate it by, like, walking into a, someone's house and saying, <laughs> you live here now? I, I, I'm kind of a critic of it, just due to the man Christopher Columbus was. Um, not a not a good guy. Not a good guy by any means. So, I, I I'm obviously never gonna pass off a day off of school. <laughs> but um, I don't know. It just feels so funny considering how awful of a human being he was. Um, I and when I when I say that I mean like, I I don't. He probably wasn't an awful human. I shouldn't make that judgment. But just. The way he went about things was probably not one of good nature. So right here is the hardest part about making the sail. It is the, uh, what would you call it? This is actually a differing sail than the ones I made. This is like the, the slanted parts of the bottom that I was talking about earlier. So you have to figure out a way. I'm just probably going to end up taking it out just as these guidelines have given me just to make it nice and simple and I don't want to screw up here because the weird thing about this part of the sail which I really I don't I don't like is it's slanted at the bottom but 
if you'll see when I fill in this gray, it ends up not being slanted at the top. It ends up like, uh, like the sail would end. Like, oh, what the hell? That's weird. That's weird. There we go. Wait, up, 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 up. All right. So you got this big blob of beauty. Now over here we'll continue. Um. Continue up this way. All right, so this is what I was talking. I actually, I'll, I'm gonna do this. I'll differentiate, just because I don't want it, everything being square. Oh, hello. There we go. So it ends up coming. Uh, this one's different. Whatever. Usually for for the other sales that I made, it end up it ended up coming like coming out like this over here, like two blocks, but this one it kind of, kind of takes a turn. So, now as you can see, if you do have a an eye for future, you can see how that the furthest exceeding circular shape right here, which would be this collection of blocks, like this whole line on this, what is this? What is this in, uh, um, whatever so he's annoying me so um anyways that's this is the furthest section out and it will end up being this circulatory thing but um if you do not have that kind of visual visualization i don't even visit if you can visualize what it will look like then it can be satisfying to you but if you can't visualize what um what it will look like in the future, you may just be at a roadblock right here. So what I like to do, um, sorry, busy, oh, he left, alright, whatever. So now, when I am actually happy with how that shape came out, which I am, uh, I can do dash dash position one. This is uh, requiring world edit, um, this is a weird little <laughs> right here. I don't like this. Hold on. I'm gonna fix this. Make this less of a dramatic thingy. Alright. Wait, what? Whatever. Alright, yeah, that's that's bettering my OCD for the moment. Now we're gonna do the position number two up here. And we'll do what's the block ID of this? Dash dash replace uh, 35, oh, nope, 8 white. That should work. And now all of the gray is filled in with white, and you can start rounding your stuff. So, what I like to do is start out with the, like I was saying, the furthest extending thing, the or, or the focal point of wind. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to to start find your find your kind of sides to it and um now depending on what it ends up looking like uh oh let's go on do not disturb all right so now <coughs> do something like this Mm. The, now, the, right now, in, in this part of the tutorial, literally, I cannot help you. This is completely circumstantial, and, um, however the sail comes out, the sail comes out, like, there's, uh oh, this is weird. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. What, what ended up happening, in, even on this sail, is the original plan was actually a block further in word and I ended up having to build out of it due to situations like this and I think I might have to again um okay one two one two um uh, I don't like how this comes so abruptly uh one two three uh oh nope keep that now that might look weird like that 
and that is ugly. Um, that's kind of good. That's a good, nice, extendment ish station blithening. So, um, that'll get you started. Now, what I like to do, this is already killing my OCD, so I'm just gonna fix it. Like, yet. And, um, once again, you're gonna find your ending. I think I'm gonna make this a four block ending. So, this is gonna be like that. And it's gonna loop around. And then, okay, I think I'm going to keep that actually. One, two, one, two, one. All right, so this was supposed to be a four block. It is. So um, now we're going to do something like this. Bring it. It's ending up uh, being kind of obnoxiously larger than I would have, than I was wanting it to be, but whatever. I think I'm just going to continue doing the wholesale throughout this tutorial, because why not just show you guys what I, my process. Um, alright, so one, two, um, one, three, yeah, I guess that works, it's kind of an abrupt thing right there, whatever, it works. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Um, okay, I'll just make this a four block, I don't know what I'd call it, kind of like the mo the furthest extending point of the, the thingy. Alright, uh, can I do that? That works. Then, wait, does it? No, that works, yeah. So then it comes around, loops around. So, that's weird. You don't wanna, you wanna try your best to make the curves go like, like, for example, like, this, rather than having the curves go like, uh, in this case, it's like, uh, that's still curved, kind of, but you get my point, like, that, yes. So, you, you wanna try to end up with a, Nice mm, circular curve, <coughs> which I'm not achieving right here. No idea why. Actually, I do have an idea why. That works. Totally. And then we can just carry this on up one. Perfect. Even though that kind of looks kind of weird. This is weird too. Huh. Bring that up. Nope. Keep it. Keep it. Um. This is all completely about playing around with it. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, making sure, like, the, s the design and the style, you know, how it looks suits you. Um, unless it does, then I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm not, I sound stupid when I do that, don't I? Alright, um, I can actually do with some, um... Uh, I'll have to do a bit more of an extended circle here, and then, salty, very salty, and then I'll have to do something like that, and just bring it on down like that. <laughs> See, now, when you end up, when you're done doing this, what's going to end up happening is, that does not look as circular as I would like it. Hmm, what can I do about that? That would help if only I had a longer space to do my work with. That helps. That works. That totally works. Yeah, totally. Alright. That's fine. I mean, it's. This is probably one of the most important sales considering it's representing the ship, really. In a sense. Not really. I guess not. Whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, so do I have that done? Yes. Now we're going to move on to the next one. Find my extendment. Extend int. Extend. Extendent. Let's make this one one higher. And then we'll just carry it on. Ooh. Ooh. 
this is not cool. Two higher. Maybe that'll work. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe one like oh that's why. Bing. One like that. Continue it. Ah salty. Three there and then just a simple hump <laughs> there, I guess. And I'll bring that down by one, maybe, 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 maybe. No, that looks stupid. I'll just keep it. Keep it as it is. And that's the next one. This, I feel like it's way too big. This one was nice and small, that's what she said, and that one's kind of big. So, um, if I actually cut off all of the excluding blocks, that looks a bit better, actually. I'm kind of glad I did that. Yeah, I'm actually pretty glad I did that. Now it's making a nice little effect of being smaller. That was really stupidly said. Um, that's kind of abrupt. Let's go something like this, maybe. Or maybe even a three block high. Let's just bring it like that. Even. No, it's just, that's too demanding. Um, do something like that. Um, nope. This is making it too perfect. Too, too, too. That works. Yeah, that works. That works well, actually. Um, this needs to be fixed. That was killing my obsessive compulsive disorder. Alright, so, um, let's continue on. Is this one done? Yes, it is. So the next one, the next thingy is going to be right here, and I feel like I can do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like this. Yes. Aha! It's gonna end up being a long ass recording. I understand that if you guys do not want to watch through the whole thing, and most of you probably aren't building a ship at the time, but if you are, um, hopefully this helps you. Hopefully it's a good guideline. Steer you through one of the harder parts of making a ship. I enjoy it, but some people may find it of difficulty and totally understanding. That it's not the Organics are very difficult within Minecraft. It's not a walk in the park. All right, let's find the thingy here. Uh, I think I'll start it actually one lower to compensate for how I made it one higher before, and that actually might be a very bad idea. Let's make it one higher, or at least like that. Eh, I wanna, I have to make, I have to remember where the wind is going in this case. <clears throat> so I'm actually gonna cut that one down. One, two, three, four. Mm, should I make it five? I don't know. Uh, no, that doesn't work, does it? <laughs> that works, I guess. It's fine for now. I don't like that five actually. I'm gonna take it and fix it. Yeah, that works. All right. So let's go. Our two up, and maybe another two up, just to make it work. Make that booty twerk. Um. <coughs> This would be the top of it, or the main center. Uh, shut up. Alright. So, now that makes it 
go like that. Then want that. Want it like that. Alright, that works. Moving on. Ah, let's go to this one. Once again, I, I'd say the focal, the focus point. Is that focal point or foc focus point? Focus, fo, fo. I don't even know. What am I saying anymore? Anymore? This is how I get when I when I don't when I'm trying to I'm trying to talk while doing such a such a dastardly thing. I don't even know if that's the correct word to use there. Dastard? Whatever. Maybe even four here, just due to the height or the length of it. Length of it. I'm frozen. Uh, this sale is not turning out as well as I'd planned, but it'll be fine. I mean, a nice circular sale. I I do see a lot of sales that are very uh, non-circular, if you will. So when I look at other people's stuff, I do enjoy looking at other people's work. I don't obviously copy them, but I like taking it for inspiration sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. I don't. I don't usually become. Okay, that is just not working out. Not working out, bro. Um. Uh. That works. And then you can even bring one out like that. I know I had to do that. See now, as you can see, you are going to start getting thicker on the in it's starting to become thicker. And just due to the addition of blocks. Um so let's continue. Uh let's continue this one. I'll even how since it's so big. <laughs> since I'm killing myself with the that's what she said. It's probably like so childish. Actually, I know it is so childish, but I enjoy doing it. Who cares? I don't really care. That's right. I'm still a child. I'm like freaking. Do you hear my voice? <laughs> Alright. Bring that one out. Alright. Um. Keep making that noise. I need to stop that. Stop it! Alright. 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 This is too high, too damn high. That's gonna kill my OCD. So that's about as high as I can go. Such a different sale. Nah. This one looks so nice and round, and this one's just disappointing me. Maybe it's due to the. Shut up. All right. Um. Eh. Does that work? No. That's too many. Too many of that. I could do this. Haha. <laughs> no, but then it's all weird over here, and I just uh. <laughs> This just one block is just making me rage. Uh, hate it. Hate it a bunch. Um. Yeah, that works. That works. Ah. Alright, so. Continuing. God, this is a long freaking tutorial thingy. Kind of. Ooh, problem. Wee wee. Gotta fix this. Oh yeah, I never even finished it. That's why. A ding a ding a ding. Okay, this I I'm not at all happy with it as of now. Certainly, I'm learning a few things from it. <laughs> Obviously, let's remove that block right there and from over here. That'll make me feel less insecure about my work. Alright, so now what we're going to want to do, it's kind of finished in a sense, but what I would like to do is go on the back 
and I usually go from every layer and I just break the blocks that that could be a block that's behind see like that like that every block that is behind one of the blocks from um the front I go around and break because it makes kind of makes the back look good as well ooh hello and um also it's very easy to get carried away when you're doing it like you like to like that you like to go on the higher decks and see what you can break but um I like to be patient with this um because then you lose track and then there you could end up with spots where you could have broken a block and there isn't a block and it's just there and it makes for a mess very messy um stay on staying on this level seeing what blocks can be broken none of which can be not a lot of actual yeah there's one nope not another nope oh 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 alright next next layer alright uh oh more talking from my team alright we're about halfway through the thingy. I think actually, mo and there's more that can be broken up top than there can be up bottom. So, um, I can actually just push. Yep. Oh, hello. I didn't even know up here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting carried away, like I said. But I'm just going to, for the sake of time, um, I'll make sure that everything is nice and polished to its fullest potential when I am finished with this tutorial I'll make sure everything is as good as it can be that can be broken haha uh -huh, found it see a lot of this can be broken just due to the sheer amount that I placed over it which is a lot um, so you, yeah, you just want to kind of all the overlapped parts. You just gonna you want to break them because it it never loses its square shape feel if you don't. And if you look at it from like a deck perspective, it's just like all squarey as um differing, which is different from here. Like you can tell, like ooh, that's circular. Like whatever. Shut up. So um. Yeah, just this is what I like to do. Destroy everything that doesn't need to be here because it makes me feel more happy about my builds. All right. I feel bad for keeping. If you, I'll probably have like little points or spots down in the description for the different sections of the um of the tutorial, like. Like this part is well, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what I'd name them, so probably not actually. Whatever. Dang it, dang it, everything. Let's just continue this. Get it done. Get it done right. Uh, this is really dragging on me. Like, killing me. I can't talk for this long not how I build. It's not how I do my thing. Uh, that can be broken. And little things like this probably will not make a difference, but it'll make... What the hell? Okay. It'll make you... Yeah, I, like, what I've noticed from the uh, multiple survival games maps that I have put out, um... People will never notice things like this, like, oh, oh god, it's not completely perfect, but what they will notice, or what they won't notice anything, you will notice it, and it will eat at you. And I've had that happen before. Many times, I think I can fix this and make it look more perfect. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Alright. 
And that's good. That's good. Mm, all right. I think we came out with a pretty good sale. I'm obviously going to keep it. Oh, 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 oh. Not done. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, you better believe it. Sometimes you'll get little things like that on the front, too. That's probably never going to happen. But sometimes you will. So now what you're actually going to want to do is make it feel more rounded. So what you can uh, what you're going to do pick your two locations break those blocks i'm going to pick right there and right there all right so now from there actually i, I might do 3 3 is good so from there what you're actually going to want to do is just break two blocks and what this does is it enhances the feel of it coming right at you. Now it may look strange. I actually you can differ this four on this side and three on the other. And um it may look weird. Now what I what I can do is I do this. I can add little bits hanging down. And it what it re what it, it really does so much to the cell. It makes it feel like that can be fixed. Yes. It makes it feel like just little strands and shreds of it hanging off. And I really like that. So the last part you are going to do of your beautiful, beautiful sale is you are going to want to do little strips of quartz in it. Now this, you do this because in these times what they had is the canvas was kind of, had little lines going through it. Um, I'm, if I can figure out how I could post a picture in the video right now, but, um, if not, I'll probably, most likely, dash weather sun, most likely end up putting something of that nature into the description for you to look at if you are inquiring about that. What is that noise? I think that's dripping the concrete texture pack. But, whatever, so what we're going to want to do is start at a good starting point. I'll start right there. Position 1. You do need a world editor for this. So if you do not, or single player commands. Um, sorry. No, actually I had, I was doing this earlier. Alright, so the, wait, no. That's it. That's from a while ago. Alright, so, wait, what the hell? Alright, so you're placing white with 55, which, 155, which is the course block. And I do this. That's better. Yeah. I do this. I I you know, you're, I can do these little like. And it's good to do these little edits along the way because it makes. Just add so much. Don't want to copy the mask there, so just keep that. Alright, whatever. No one's going to ever notice that. It's not that big of a deal. Although you want to get it right. Don't half-ass anything. So, um, you just kind of get your positions down. I don't like when this happens, when it ends up being like, um, it ends up, the course ends up being on one of the strands. Kind of gets, kind of grinds my gears. So, once again, with all these lag, 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 oh, wait, oh, crap, 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 dash, dash, POS2, P sub 2, um, I don't know what I was going to say, was I going to say something, whatever, <laughs> I don't like that, this is kind of weird, whatever, I'll just have to, you have to learn to let things like that be. Um, I still have trouble with that. I, I just started. This was, I made this technique up. Like, I, if you were wondering from the, um, from the last canon tutorial to this video, I think it is. Yeah, this is, because I was talking about how I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, from the last canon tutorial, it, like, I, I couldn't get a sail design down. And I do not think I... Wrong one. Stop joining! I, I couldn't get a sail design down. I just did not know what to do. So, um, okay. This is already going to get annoying quick. 
I didn't know what to do, so I continued trial and error. So, so, what? There we go. I did so many trials and errors and so many different methods of finding a sail design, and I just couldn't. And this is what I came up with. Um, I'm actually pretty proud of how it ends up looking in the long run. So, yeah, guys, that will be the tutorial today. I'll do this quick speed 10. So, as you can see, looks nice. Not as nice as the first one, although I don't think I'm going to be able to get one to look as nice. Wow. This is not cool. Thought I had fixed this. I'm probably not going to get it one to look as nice as my first one, but, you know, you just have to keep working at it. It looks good to have all the sails be differentiated. See, now, the problem right now I'm having is it looks like the sails are just plopped on there, like, just, like, completely not strung by nothing. But th that will change as you add rigging between the masts in. That makes your sails look a lot more strong and purposed. Per with purpose. If that makes sense. So, guys. I'll just kind of. I don't want to show you too much of that. But, yeah. I just showed you it. So, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Really? Really? So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think of your sail. If you um, attempted to build it uh, using, you know, the style. Or not the style, the this method. Tell me what you thought of your sail. If it was finished. When it is finished. If you are even doing one. So, um, once again, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all later. Peace.